So this is the Apple Watch Series 8. I'm now having it almost for two weeks. I think it's a little bit over two weeks. So this is the reason why I'm gonna make my review. The reason why I don't wait one month is because there's so little to tell about this watch, but we're gonna get into it and tell why you should not buy this Apple Watch Series 8. There are some reasons why you should buy it, but for my, I think it's better to not buy, but now I have it, but I'm gonna tell why I'm gonna keep it. So let's get into the video. So the Apple Watch Series 8 is just a newer version of the Series 7, I will say. The first thing I'm gonna talk about on the Apple Watch Series 8 is just how minor this upgrade was. It's better than the Series 7, but in some ways, and not that much. Like, it's not faster, it does not have a better battery life, it does not have a brighter screen or something, it does not charge faster, so there's so little to talk. But there are two main things that make this watch maybe worth it to you. And for me it was not worth that, but if you're having Apple Watch Series 4 or 5, I will say Say the apple watch is really good to upgrade for but if you have a six or seven do not go to the eight of course gates are so little only thing if you really want to use some of the new functions that this apple watch has so the first thing that's new on this apple watch is of course the crash detection you don't need to buy the apple watch Series 8 for the crash detection function because i don't think you want to crash that much like i don't think you want to get in your car and get in crash or something so that's not why you want to buy this apple watch i don't know it's so weird to talk about this but it's really good watch and i don't blame apple for to not make it a bigger upgrade but i wanted to see some more things so you don't need to buy this apple watch for the car crash detection alone maybe if you want to use the wrist temperature sensor i did use it and it only tracks in sleep what i was saying in my unboxing video but you cannot see that much data you only see like plus 0.1 or something and as you can see you cannot get data out of you can do nothing with it if you're a woman you can use a cycle tracking a little bit better with the temperature sensor in it but that's only for that but but for a man, the temperature sensing is not the reason why you want to upgrade to this watch. The maybe reason why you want to upgrade from the 7 to the 8 is if you are a traveler and you're using the Apple Watch with cellular data a lot in, in other countries. Then there's now data roaming. This is not working everywhere, but they will get transitions to it. So if you live in the US, you can travel a lot more and you can use data roaming on the Apple Watch Series 8. So that's maybe a reason why you want to get the Apple Watch Series 8. Yeah, so the reason why I did really upgrade to the Series 8 was just I really wanted to test it out the cellular thing and I really wanted to test the temperature sensor but the temperature sending is not worth it right now there's no app you can check your, your temperature or something you only see in the held app around how much you did get hot or not hot so it's just some little thing that will maybe get better in software updates maybe it will add some temperature sensor app but i don't think so because the only risk measuring temperature is not the best way to do that so maybe that's why apple does not focus on that but maybe use it later for other things so the reason why i'm really gonna keep this is yeah i now have it on my apple watch series 7 i will sell probably so i will just hold this on i was for a moment thinking to get me the apple watch ultra but i'm gonna wait a year and see what apple will do next year with the apple watch because i do really prefer this design of an apple watch but the ultra i do also really love about the functions about the battery life about the screen is bigger and the design i'm not that big of a fan of the ultra it's really nice but i wish like the orange button on the side wasn't maybe another color but that's my personal take on it but maybe next year i will buy me that one and also the reason why i did not buy the apple watch ultra this year i did spend too much money on apple this year so i'm happy with the products i have right now with the apple watch Series 8 bit cellular model 45 millimeters of course for the iphone 14 pro max and Air Force Pro 2, I will also make a review video later on. So, from which watch you should upgrade to the Series 8? If you have a 5 or 4 or 3, you will get Series 8, I will think. You can get away with the Series 7 also, but maybe if you're not that into sensors, the screen, just get an Apple Watch SE 2, that will you get also through the day and will get you fitness and get you healthy also. And also in this video, I want to tell a bit more about the Stellar model. I, it's my first year, I did get one, I have now for two weeks, and I did not use it once but I'm just gonna keep it and see after one year how much I did use it and if Apple brings out the Apple Watch Series X or 9 and it will get a big improvement maybe I'll skip then out the 4G the cellular uh, out of my watch but I will see in a year and maybe if Apple does not change much about the Apple Watch Series 9 I don't think it will do 9 but they will hope directly to the X but if they do a 9 and it's just an, a little minor upgrade some brighter screen or something I will probably go for the Ultra and then I'm also having the cellular 
model we cannot change that but then i'm also happy but i'm gonna test one year and see how i'm using it but do you need to sell your model if you're going out a lot and you travel a lot or something i think the 4g version is a must have and also if you go to fitness and you don't want to have a phone with you the apple watch with 4g it will be absolutely for you but i mostly have my iphone with me but i did use it once and it was working and I'm, it's really nice that you can do that battery life with selling model i did not test it out also but i did uh, listen to our streaming podcast on my apple watch and it did lose around 10 to 50 percent of my battery with 4g on and was doing everything on my watch so it's not that good but it's also not that bad so keep that in mind if you want to get the stellar model i'm also having a screen protector on my apple watch array because the screen of the normal apple watch lineup do scratch so fast it's really bad but if you get the stainless steel version of the apple watch the normal version you will get an excellent screen with really good scratch protection so that's why i did get me an uh, an uh, screen protector for my apple watch and it's with a screen protector it's curved with no black border so i'm really happy with that and it's just with an uv glue and with the light on it and now it fit on it so if this is broken there are some bubbles on it as you can see but if this is broken or scratches i will get me another one and do it better so that's how i protect my watch and keep my design for the rest i do really love the apple watch Cherry 8 but if i think again i will not buy so if you're really thinking to get from the series 7 to the 8 don't do it it's just the same so i will say do not buy the apple watch series 8 and just go for a series 7 or something if you have an older version so if you have a 6 i will really recommend to go to the 7 if you you want the current screen bleeding over edge it's really nice so yeah so this is my video i know it's a little bit short but this was my review video of the apple watch Series 8 and i really want to make a review of this apple watch but i think you will also know it's so little to tell about the car crash detection i'm not gonna use i'm not gonna test that and also i don't think i will use it ever if i'm having a car accident or something it will be helpful but it's like one of the million that will happen so yeah for g i'm using sometimes maybe and the temperature sensor i'm not using you can do anything with that so yeah the apple watch series 8 is a really boring upgrade the same as the 7 the series 7 was a little bit better because we got an all-new screen it got faster charging and we got a little bit brighter display but that was also everything but yeah so thanks for watching this video also don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter and vero and also don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel and also don't forget to like this video so i'll see you in the next video very soon Bye.